Summer is around the corner and that's the best time for street photography, right? But wait, there's this virus going on. Ah, no problem, I just go somewhere else. But wait, there's also a lot of travel restrictions in place so you cannot travel. Yeah, I think you're probably getting the point. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you're safe and sound no matter where you are right now. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the current state of street photography and how this might play out in the future. I will explain to you what the current situation means for me. And also, I'd like to know how it is affecting you. Are you still going out to shoot street or have you stopped shooting street at all? Obviously, if you're under lockdown, it's almost impossible to shoot street right now. But I have some friends that are still trying to shoot and I have one friend that is making a, or is trying to make a book out of this situation what is going on right now. Before I want to give you my opinion on how this might affect street photography from here on going forward, let me first explain my current situation and how this whole thing has been affected me so far and will affect me maybe in the months to come. Especially all of you longtime viewers of the channel, you probably know that my channel is mainly focused around street photography. However, in the last couple of weeks, I haven't posted any videos uh, related to street photography at all, and there is a reason for it. Back in March, I traveled to Thailand and I wanted to work on a long-term street photography slash documentary project and I wanted to do this for a couple of months. And every now and then I wanted to travel to some um, nearby countries and to film some videos for you guys there. Well, shortly after arriving, things quickly took a turn to the worst. The situation in Thailand was fairly stable, but still the government closed down all the borders to the surrounding countries and they also limited traveling within Thailand. Also, shooting for my project wasn't working out that well because there were so many people wearing a mask and the amount of people out on the streets dropped significantly. Towards the end of March, it seemed like that flights out of Thailand might not be possible for a couple of months. So I've decided to abandon my plan and I traveled back home. It was the right move, I guess, because otherwise I would have been stuck in Thailand with not many options what to do. So in the end, my plan didn't work out at all, but hopefully later this year I can continue working on my project. Besides that, I had plans to announce a couple of workshops here in Europe over the summer, but yeah, it's not going to happen um, and this will also have to wait until next year. And on top of that, all booked jobs for this year have been cancelled so all the plans that I had for the second half of the year uh, are on hold now and honestly I am not sure what is going to happen. And you know what's the worst thing about it? It's the uncertainty because I have no idea how this will play out and I am pretty sure that a lot of you can relate to that as well. I have always been a very optimistic person and I think somehow this will work out in one way or another. And also in every crisis there is an opportunity. And now since I have a lot of time at my hands in the next couple of months, I will try to make the best out of it. Now the second half of June will be fully dedicated to street photography. And from this Sunday on, there will be a video coming out every day for 14 days straight. And also in Sunday's video, there will be an announcement that I'm really excited about. And maybe you have any idea what this might be. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's get back to street photography and my predictions what we might face in the next couple of months or even the next couple of years. Like I've mentioned before, I'm a very optimistic person and I'm almost 100% certain that this will go back to normal as it used to be, but it might take some time. However, in the meantime, we will probably have to deal with a lot of limitations and there are some obvious ones like travel restrictions, especially for people like me that like to travel the world to film content and do street photography. This is an issue because, I mean, traveling is not as easy anymore and sometimes even not possible. I have a lot of friends that had to cancel all of their trips for the upcoming months because, yeah, there are no flights and no traveling and nobody really knows when this will go back to normal again. Also because of the economical downturn, I think there might be some companies going out of business and I'm not just talking about big uh, camera manufacturers, also maybe small companies that are supply us with all the, the goodies that we love to use. They might have a hard time going forward from here um, and unfortunately I think we will see some of those companies going bankrupt. Hopefully this will not be as bad, but what about the film industry? 
The film industry had a, had a big growth over the last couple of years, but what is going to happen now? Because since people are not going out, people are not shooting as much, people are not buying film, does that mean that um, film companies are going to struggle again? Fingers crossed this won't happen, but who knows? And besides the limitations in travel and the economical consequences, social interactions are also affected. And wearing a mask uh, will limit communication, social distancing guidelines, they will restrict people from getting close to each other. And also all these things that are happening make people feel really uncomfortable to get close to each other. And for street photographers, especially for street photographers like me that like to get close, this can be an issue going forward from here. Even without a camera around my neck, I can tell that people are more cautious now and they don't like to have strangers surrounding them as much as before. And especially not a stranger getting really close to them. I mean, I did not try it, but I would assume if you get close with your camera to somebody that people might freak out more easily, not because of you taking a photo, more because of they are afraid to catching some disease or whatever. So this could be an issue in the future, but who knows, maybe I'm totally wrong about this. Now, I'm very curious about your opinion. What do you think? Will this current situation affect street photography in the future? And if it does, how? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it for today's video. And I would say we hopefully see each other again on Sunday for the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.